Your child's strange sleeping movements can leave you more than just a little baffled. Find out about rhythmic movement disorder, the symptoms, the causes, the risk for injury, diagnosis, and management of the disorder. You hear a rhythmical thud coming from your toddler's room. You crack the door open and peer in to see your son repeatedly hitting his body against the mattress. You gently say his name, but he's asleep. Your husband runs to the room. You exchange glances, wondering aloud if it's a nightmare. Could this be rhythmic movement disorder? There's a group of neurological disorders characterized by involuntary movements during sleep, primarily occurring in children under five years of age, by which time the disorder usually resolves itself. Rhythmic movement disorder, known as RMD, involves involuntary movements of the head, neck, and body, including jerking and shaking. Repetitive headbanging against the mattress or pillow is another common movement. Your child may also experience involuntary leg movements, body rocking, and repetitive vocalizations like humming or chanting. RMD can be accompanied by other sleep disorders, such as obstructive sleep apnea and restless leg syndrome, and occurs as the child transitions from wakefulness to sleep or during sustained sleep. In some instances, rhythmic movement disorder can be mistaken for epilepsy. Keep watching to find out more about the disorder, along with causes, diagnosis, and treatment. How is RMD similar to epilepsy? RMD can mimic epilepsy symptoms, including noticeable forced body movements. Focal seizures cause muscles to contract and cause abnormal head and eye movements. Hypermotor epilepsy can also be mistaken for a parasomnia due to vocalizations, rolling of the head, and repetitive body movements. Myoclonic epilepsy will cause the head and legs to twitch and usually occurs when waking or during the day. What causes RMD? There's little evidence available showing that genetics are responsible for RMD. It's believed that this disorder is behaviorally based as rhythmical movements are often used by young kids to self-pacify and soothe themselves to sleep. What's the risk for injury? Head rolling, head banging, or body rocking may lead to injury depending on your child's sleeping position. For example, stomach sleepers may lift their head and shoulders every few seconds for up to minutes or hours at a time, causing a rhythmical movement as their head hits the pillow or mattress. It's not uncommon for children to exhibit a combination of these movements there's a good chance they will not recollect moving in their sleep when they wake up. These movements are typically harmless, if not typical in younger kids, and do not lead to injury or head trauma. How is RMD diagnosed? Your child's doctor will start by reviewing sleep patterns and behavior and document your family's medical history. The initial examination may necessitate a polysomnography known as a sleep study, which tracks your child's heart rate, breathing, and brain waves to help diagnose a sleep disorder and rule out epilepsy. How are symptoms managed? As your child ages, rhythmic movements will decrease. However, if these events cause injury or disrupted sleep, your doctor may prescribe a sedative to help alleviate symptoms. Behavioral therapy can reduce and sometimes eliminate involuntary movements. How it works is the child reenacts these nocturnal movements during the day, which is shown to reduce the frequency of RMD events at night. Remember that these movements are common in children under the age of five. Consult with your child's doctor if these symptoms are persistent and interfere with your child's sleep and daytime functioning. Help is available.